Welcome to Cutting It Straight, where the issues and concerns of our times are examined in the light of the Word of God. Greetings and welcome to the second edition of Cutting It Straight, the show that dares to discuss the issues of our day while at the same time examining these issues through what's already been written in the Word of God. I'm your host, Doug Proietti, and with me is Pastor Bruce David Bell of Berean Bible Fellowship. Thanks for coming back, Pastor Bruce. Well, thank you. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to continue our discussion and to hear what the Lord has to say through His Word. Uh, the Bible is the only source of information where we can understand what God has for us today, what he is planning for us in the future as well. So it is exciting that we have the opportunity to, to look at these things together. Okay, and uh, Pastor Bruce, uh, in our first edition of this program, you said something that uh, uh, I think is so basic and elementary to Christians, and that's the fact that uh, Christianity uh, at its core is a relationship with God mm. and uh, not just another religion or like something you join, like a club. Uh, could you uh, go into that again and explain the difference between uh, religion and, uh, and an ongoing personal relationship with Jesus Christ? I think, Doug, at the, uh, at the heart of religion, uh, and all religion is false religion, except for Christianity, at the heart of, of all of those doctrines and teachings is the idea that we need to do something to make ourselves acceptable to God. Whether it is uh, to participate in rituals and ceremonies, uh, to do acts of kindness, whatever it is. Uh, religion tends to want us uh, to measure up to a certain standard, whereas true Christianity, biblical Christianity, uh, we recognize that we do not measure up to God's standard of holiness. Therefore, he has had to do something for us, and that is to send his son to die for us so we could have a relationship with him. Yeah, and uh, I know there may be a lot of people out there who are trapped in a religion and uh, uh, they uh, uh, feel they need to continue in this religion, you know, what would you, would you say to someone like that? Or, or they may not agree with what you said. I would say that the only place to find the answer is the Bible. Now, the Bible, maybe you've heard the term sola scriptura. It means that the Bible alone has the final word. The Bible alone has the final answer for us. Anything outside of the Bible is really man's opinion, man's attempt to distort, really, the, the Bible, the teaching of the Bible. And uh, we find that to be true whether somebody has the label of a Christian or not. Uh, some people do use the Bible, but they've distorted it to the point where it is not biblical Christianity. I would say, get into the Bible, get into the Word, and begin to look and see what God has to say, rather than what man has to say. And people would, would, would come back and say, well, we, we, got a, we got a book for our religion. You know, what's the difference? The difference is this. It was God who inspired or led men to write down what he wanted written in the Bible. Therefore, God has breathed that information into men. They, in turn, have written it down for us. Every other book is just man's attempt to come up with uh, a religion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, why is it that uh, um, people are more easily drawn to... Uh, follow or belong to uh, religion rather than walking by faith 
with in a relationship with Christ. Mm-hmm. Religion by itself only involves, as I just said, uh, a process of doing things or not doing things. Since true Christianity is a relationship, our entire life has changed. Mm-hmm. New, we become new cre- creation in Christ. Therefore, everything that we were no longer exists. Everything becomes new. Mm-hmm. And some people find that very threatening. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, would you say uh, just following rituals is, is more comfortable than, than really, uh, you know, seeking God in a relationship? Yes, I would say that because if we look at what the Bible says, uh, the perspective God has of us is that we need a relationship in order to become his children. Mm -hmm. Without that relationship, we continue to be enemies of him. And that's a difficult thing for some people to accept. And so it is a lot easier to follow rituals and ceremonies and uh, then continue on with your life uh, rather than have your life really turned upside down by a relationship with Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Well, that, that definitely raises a question that, you know, if, if you're just following or belong to a religion, where does that, where does that leave you when life as we know it mm-hmm. is over? And, and one stands before a holy God. Since God has given us his truth in his word, he expects us to read it. He expects us to then apply what we read, and he expects us to obey it. If we have neglected a relationship with Jesus Christ, we have really, in a sense, told God, we don't believe the sacrifice of his son is worth our lives, worth us following with our lives. Hmm. And we will have to answer for that when we stand before him. Hmm. And, uh, um, uh, may not be good news. Either. No, it, it will be bad news because the Bible further says that without a relationship, with Christ, we will find ourselves separated from him, and we will find ourselves in torment forever. Mm -hmm. So that's not good news. Yeah. And uh, um, so to us as born again believers in Jesus Christ, you know, it's, it's so obvious, you know, we we see uh, how, how people uh, miss it. And, uh, um, because, you know, we are saved by grace through faith, not by religion and what we do. Um, and uh, we read in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, uh, verse 4, that, that God, or the God of this world, has blinded the minds of them which believe not. So who is this God of this world, and, and how does he blind a person? Okay, that's a good question. In that particular passage, uh, the Apostle Paul is saying that Satan uh, gives the appearance of a god to people. He's really not a god. He is a created being. But the way that people live their lives, he is their god, whether they know it or not. All of the ideologies, uh, all of the ethics, all, all of the religions, the false religions, all of the education in this world revolves around a perspective that is contrary Mm -hmm. to the word of God. Therefore, as people begin to absorb this information, their minds take it in, accept it, and don't realize that they, the truth is concealed from them. Therefore, they follow this teaching, this teaching of Satan, through their entire lives. It is only when God opens our eyes to the truth do we see how far off we were, how wrong we were, and then it's like somebody has has put on a light for us. Mm-hmm. We see the truth. 
we see the truth of mm-hmm. what, what God has done. Oh, okay. So, um, what are some, we- some ways that uh, true followers of Christ can better communicate the, um, to, to religious people mm-hmm. uh, who are involved in religion the necessity of a relationship mm-hmm. with Christ unto salvation? I mean, how, uh, what are ways that uh, you know, we can better communicate this message? I think the difficulty in communicating with someone who is religious rather than someone who uh, realizes they're a sinner is that somebody who thinks they are religious believes that they either don't have sin or their sin has been taken care of by the things that they do. So they don't necessarily see their need of Jesus Christ. Mm. I think the the one step is to point out to them uh, the condition that we all find ourselves in and that the Bible says we are in is that of a sinner who is lost without Jesus Christ. Mm. I think that's a good place to start. Uh, I also think that our lives become then a testimony uh, to that relationship that we have. So uh, as believers, um, our attitude, the way we live our lives, the, the joy that, that Christ yes. gives, yes. Uh, it is a good way to communicate. I, I agree. You're, you're 100% right. Okay. Awesome. And uh, so, and finally, there may be, People watching, you know, that don't really care about religion. You know, they, they stay as far as ways they can, as ways they can, and, and from a relationship with Christ. How can these people be persuaded to pursue this relationship with Christ? Ultimately, it is only the Lord who can persuade somebody to seek Jesus Christ. We seek him because he has first sought us. Right. Sometimes people have to reach a point where they have no other place to go, and it becomes the last place they go, the only place they ultimately need to go, uh, and cry out to Jesus Christ for salvation. And the difficulty when you are doing well is you don't feel you need to cry out to him. So I would say take the time, if the person will take the time to sit down and to look at the scriptures, uh, that is a good starting point because the Lord will then open up the eyes uh, of those people. Yeah, and ultimately it's the Lord that opens the eyes. Yes. Yes. So, you know, uh, um, we need need to pray, obviously, and uh, that that God would open their eyes. Yes. Yes. You're right. Yeah. So, um, so we've uh, you know we've gone over the difference between religion and a relationship, and uh, 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 there uh, anything else you you would like to put well, on your mind about that? I guess what strikes me is uh, the the number of people who have opinions concerning everything in this world concerning the situation we see before us, concerning uh, where this world is headed. And I think it's time that we stop listening to men and we start listening to what God has said. Only he has the answer. He's the one who created us. Who knows better what we need than the one who has created us? So I think it's time that we hear what he has to say and take the time to find out his perspective in his word. And I think uh, we already talked about this, but I think we're so busy and that's the way the enemy can blind us by yes. keeping us so uh, occupied with, with things and we don't take the time to, uh, to seek out these yeah. things. That, that is true. We, we're in a culture that is very busy with, with many things. Okay. Um, so, uh, so we hope this uh, program was was uh, helpful for you. Um, as we move on in this program, we, we want to take questions.
questions from the audience of something you w would like us to discuss. And uh, uh, that's what, you know, we want to, we want to, again, we want to be helpful. Um, so we want to thank you for uh, joining us, for cutting it straight. Thank you again, Pastor Bruce, thank, for thank being you. here. Thank you. And uh, uh, we'll see you next time. Good Goodbye. Night. Good night.